This is going to be a shared presentation. I am Carmelo, Carmelo Leon from the University of Las Palmas. And uh, uh, we are going to talk about uh, the effort uh, in measurement that we are conducting at the Observatory of the Canary Islands about uh, vacation rental housing. First, uh, I would like to, on behalf of the Ministry of the of Tourism of the Canary Islands, I would like to thank you for inviting us to, for this presentation and congratulations to Dirk um, and Kurt Cordula for this organization uh, on this very important meeting and uh, the breakthrough ideas uh, and strong ideas that uh, are coming from uh, the UN WTO for uh, all the observatories around the world uh, on measuring sustainability. So uh, just a few words about the Canary Islands. Uh, the Canary Islands is an archipelago off the coast of Northwestern Islands, uh, Northwestern Africa, and it has uh, eight islands and um, um, receives about uh, 15 million tourists a year for a population of 2 million people, about 2 million people. So um, this uh, makes the Canary Islands the leading overnight stay destination in Europe, measured by NATS2, uh, the European Union um, Statistical Office. So why is the Canary Islands a leading destination in overnight tourism stays? The reason, the main reason is because uh, stationality is not an issue. Uh, we have tourists all over the year. So this makes uh, tourism business an, impor an important activity and uh, paramount of any tourism activity to have all the year around tourism. And in the same, also in addition to this, uh, the length of a stay is very high, about 10 days a day per, per visitor. And the, the occupation rate has also increased uh, and it's about 80%. So we are, uh, we have uh, certain advantages against uh, other de uh, destinations in terms of the uh, location and, and the, the climatic conditions. So this uh, makes uh, these uh, characteristics, basic characteristics, of the Canary Islands, I can also add that the government and the society of the Canary Islands have been very much interested in the sustainability of tourism uh, from more than 30 years. Uh, the process of uh, discussion how much tourism uh, should be held in the islands uh, has been very strong and has led to important uh, legislations that uh, conducted to the moratorium uh, of tourism capacity. So we are not uh, a gross destination. We are just a sustainable destination because we do, not, we do not focus on growth. We focus on sustainability. And this is have been coming out from more than 30 years now. Um, the observatory of uh, tourism uh, has also a long history. It was one of the first observatories in, around the world. Starting in the late in the early 90s, so more than 30 years of uh, experience observing uh, tourism, and uh, recently we joined Insto, what we are very grateful for that, and um, we are uh, uh, impinging a process of building up uh, a social collaboration process between different institutions uh, in the islands, starting for, from the Ministry of Tourism, of course. Uh, which endows the observatory, and together collaboration with the official statistics of the islands, which have uh, developed uh, important efforts on the analysis and uh, information sources of uh, tourism uh, in the islands, and also the stakeholders of the municipalities and uh, local governments of each of the islands, and uh, the public or, or universities and the promotion uh, institution of the islands. So. A lot of uh, stakeholders coming together in what could be a network of knowledge and information generation uh, and putting together all the resources for the analysis and the study of tourism, which, by the way, is a very much uh, social concern involving different stakeholders. So we have made a lot of participation with uh, stakeholders uh, on advising uh, how the observatory should be working out the needs of information for decision making both at the private and public uh, uh, spheres of analysis. So the, the issue we are going to present now is a breakthrough on how to scale down the uh, information on vacation rental housing. As you know, 
Vacation rental housing is a very controversial segment in the tourism industry, which has been exploding around the world because of these uh, developments in technology that makes, makes possible uh, to commercialize, to, to sell these kind of units that uh, traditionally uh, tourism was based on uh, official uh, uh, accommodation sectors, but this has been uh, coming out as a potential source of competition and is introducing also some sort of externalities in the industry uh, uh, with the residential communities. And uh, the analysis of this balance is a major source of debate in the islands. Uh, and actually the government, uh, the authority of tourism is conducting a participatory process in order to reformulate the law and to come out with some sort of balanced solutions that enable also the, the prospects of this vacation rental housing at the same time that uh, compensate the potential externalities that occurs, you know, these uh, potential uh, noise and waste uh, problems and all these uh, burden contributions that are uh, inflicted on the local populations because of the uh, compatibility of uh, vacation renters with the, uh, local, the, the, the traditional uh, tourism and local residents. So um, uh, now uh, we are going to focus on these uh, uh, specific uh, developments. And uh, there are different ways of uh, pricing uh, and calculating different ratios. We are going to go down to the uh, uh, very much uh, spatial uh, distribution in the territory just to, to find out uh, what it makes it the difference in these uh, numbers if we start from very aggregated spaces towards those uh, which are more down in the scale of the regional, uh, the regional space. Because uh, as uh, has been discussed earlier in these meetings, it's, it's not a matter of the broad uh, or the rough number. We have to uh, compute scale, uh, ratios that uh, allow us to have a more detailed and comparable profile across destinations and also in the same destination between different areas and different uh, spaces. So we can talk about tourism intensity in terms of kilometers or in terms of uh, uh, population, but also we can uh, scale uh, that uh, number of that observations in terms of the different types of accommodation or in relation to the uh, dwellings or the capacity to accommodate the, to, to have people uh, in the population uh, living in, in that destination, the residence, residence the, fa the, fa the fa fact of the residence. So I, I pass the, the floor for uh, Professor Raul. Yes, so we have a analyzed for this problem of vacation of home, different scales of uh, analysis. From the regional perspective, we consider that the Canary Islands is the second uh, autonomous community in Spain with uh, uh, the highest uh, share of uh, home beds, uh, rental home beds per 100 inhabitants. But if we go to the island perspective, we see can see a different um, Per, uh, view. So we there are three main uh, tourism accommodation models, the models of the two capital islands, the model of two other islands with a uh, high growth, how tourism growth, and the model of the uh, less populated uh, islands. And even the case of the tiny island of La Graciosa that is uh, behaves like the less populated island. So we have a very different uh, ratio of holiday in home beds per 100 inhabitants. Uh, we have more than 20 uh, holiday home or rental home beds per 100 inhabitants in some islands. And the smaller islands have uh, between 15 uh, 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 per 100 inhabitants. And then the more, the two capital islands have a different model. These different models can be also be uh, uh, be seen uh, from if we analyze uh, tourism density and tourism intensity. We have the the model of Tenerife and Gran Canaria, Lanzarote and Fuerteventura on the right with more tourism intensity, and then the tiny islands uh, of La Palma, La Gomera, Hierro, and La Graciosa some with higher tourism intensity, 
And in the case of the La Palma Romero Hierro, the smaller islands, they have even the, a higher uh, share of rental homes in their own uh, tourism accommodation uh, capacity. But if we go beyond to the, munici to the municipal uh, uh, perspective, we can see municipalities where we have over 60 uh, uh, rental homes per 100 inhabitants. Uh, and we have five uh, in the islands of Lanzarote and Fuerteventura with uh, over 45 uh, 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 rental homes per 100 inhabitants. And, uh, and some uh, municipalities where more than 50% of the tourism accommodation is related with a vacation homes. Uh, so we go further to the local tourism destination inside municipalities. This is a project that was developed 10 years ago by the Institute of Statistics with the support of the university, and that is aligned with the, uh, with the measuring, uh, measuring Sustainable Tourism Initiative of, of the UNWTO. And we can see that in this tiny micro destination, uh, that represent 1.7% of the territory, we have more than 90% of hotel and apartment beds, and we have 45% uh, of holi holiday home beds in this uh, part of the island. These are uh, the municipality, the, sorry, the local tourism destinations in Tenerife, in Gran Canaria, Lanzarote, and Fuerteventura. And we can see also uh, different patterns of micro destination related with uh, tourism density and tourism intensity. And some uh, micro destination with a small station and large tourism figures, some luxury that micro destination with a small population and uh, quite a mixed model. But we can go further and see what is happening inside this a local tourism destination where we, uh, in this map, we have in yellow the uh, rental homes, in blue the hotels, and in the apartments in uh, green, and the population in brown in the square uh, grids. So we can see the places in the island where we have a, 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 a problem of congestion, uh, for example, here in the city of Las Palmas, this is the south of Tenerife. So we have the information for this local tourism destination and even, for example, the share of vacation homes over total dwelling uh, that goes, uh, uh, that is uh, 15, 20% of all dwellings are uh, in some uh, uh, census tracts related with uh, vacation homes. So we have the public consultation on the matter. And just to conclude, the different scales of analysis provide a different perspective of the relevance of, uh, of rental homes. We have, uh, from the regional uh, perspective, eight rental home bed places for uh, 100 inhabitants, but there is an island, Fuerteventura, with 21. There is one municipality that has with 20, 62, and there is one local tourism destination where there is more rental homes, beds, than inhabitants. The case of El Cotillo and Fuerteventura. Tourism observatories must provide credible number for this uh, debate and the, this uh, going uh, putting the focus in, in particular spots is uh, very important and the stakeholder participation in the process is key for destination management. Thank you very much.